so manufacture of potassium dichromate from uh, chromite ore so i will do this by matrix method so first you have to take the that is a matrix like this a number matrix like this you have to take so two matrices i am taking here two number matrix and two compound matrix i am taking this is a number matrix first row you have to fill up 487 487 you have to take in second row in second matrix don't go for the second row and third row you go to second matrix and take 8 2 8 and now you come to the this uh, second row of the second matrix will be 1 1 1 now here it will be 2 1 0 and uh, third row will be same for both the first matrix and second matrix the third row will be same 1 2 0 as well as 1 2 0 next we have to write the compound matrix like this okay compound matrix we have to take like this this is a compound matrix so in compound matrix first what you have to do means you have to take in compound matrix first you take the chromite ore what is chromite ore formula fe cr2o4 fe cr2o4 okay next the second element the second element next the second element the second element will be the na2 CrO4. The third element in the row will be that is uh, Na2Cr2O7. Now don't fill up the second column and third column. Now you go to second matrix, second compound matrix. The second element will be the first element here Na2Cr2O4. The third element will be the second element Na2Cr2O7. Okay, and the third, the last one will be K2Cr2O7. Next, you take the second one, the second uh, uh, element in the first row. The second element in the first row will be Na2CO3. Which one? Na2CO3. Here also, now you come to the second matrix. Here also O3, but it is Fe2O3. Okay, remember CO3, O3. Next here, the third element in the first row will be that is uh, O2. And here it will be the CO2. O2 and O2, CO2. Okay. Next here, the second element in the second row will be that is H2SO4. Here also SO4, but here it is Na2SO4. Understood? Next year, yes, okay, and here you are going to get H2O. Okay, H2O you are going to get. And here the second element in the third row will be KCl, and here it will be NaCl. That's it. Now you have to multiply the that is first row of the compound matrix okay first row of the compound matrix with the first row of the number matrix so what you are going to get 4 fe cr2 o4 plus 8 na2 co3 plus 7 o2 gives rise to now second number matrix with the second compound matrix you have to multiply okay H Na2 CrO4 plus 2 Fe2O3 plus 8 CO2. Okay, so in similar manner, you have to multiply with the <coughs> second row with the second uh, compound matrix, and here also the second row of the number matrix you have to multiply with the second row of the second compound matrix, and third row uh, you have to multiply with. <coughs> the third row and here also third row of the second matrix you have to multiply so that you will get second equations third equation